you are listening to KSC podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about news broadcasting and digital standards authority source for the content is rishika singh's article for the indian express the news broadcasting and digital standards authority nbdsa a self regulatory agency set up by news and digital broadcasters has fined the hindi tv channel news 18 india 50000 rupees for turning a news debate on hijab into a communal issue and not adhering to guidelines the nbdsa that is news broadcasting and digital standards authority held that the program was in violation of the principles relating to impartiality neutrality fairness and good taste and decency nbdsa which adjudicates complaints about news broadcasts said it did not have any problem with the subject but with the narrative of the debate in its order the nbdsa noted that it was permissible for the broadcaster to have a debate on students wearing hijab in educational institutions this is not the first time a channel has seen a complaint against it through the nbdsa and though it is not a government or legal organization its rulings matter within the industry now what is the news broadcasting and uh, digital standards authority the nbdsa is an independent body set up by the news broadcasters and uh, digital association that is nbda which serves as a representative of a private television news current affairs and digital broadcasters it describes itself as the collective voice of the news current affairs and digital broadcasters in india funded entirely by its members the nbda has 26 news and current affairs broadcasters as its uh, members various senior members of indian media organizations serve on the board of directors apart from uh, presenting a unified front it carries out activities to promote protect and secure the interests including the right of freedom of speech and expression of the news broadcasters digital news media and other related entities it shares developments in the industry with members provides a space for achieving common goals and consensus and aims to protect all its members from persons carrying unfair and or unethical practices or who discredit the television news broadcasters digital news media and other related entities according to its stated objectives now how does the nbdsa function and what powers does it have within this structure the nbdsa has to lay down and foster high standards ethics and practices in news broadcasting including entertaining and deciding complaints against or in respect of broadcasters these standards mention a focus on objectivity impartiality maintaining discretion when reporting on crime against women and children not endangering national security etc the body includes a chairperson who is to be an eminent jurist and other members such as news editors and those experienced in the field of law education literature public administration etc nominated by a majority of the board former supreme court judge and jurist ak sikri is currently serving as the chairperson The authority may initiate proceedings on its own and issue notice or take action in respect to any matter which falls within its regulations. This can also be through complaints referred to the authority by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting or any other governmental body or by anyone else via its website. A two-tier procedure is in place for redressing grievances where any person aggrieved by the content of any broadcast is required to first make a complaint to the concerned broadcaster and if they are not satisfied by the redress a complaint can be filed before the authority. those cases which have already been taken to court cannot be complained against within 14 days from the date of receipt of a complaint the authority will issue notice to the concerned broadcaster to show why action should not be taken under the regulations an inquiry is held in which proof documents and people can be called in by the authority if the complainant or the respondent does not get back to the authority the complaint can be set aside The NBDSA may for reasons to be recorded in writing warn censure express disapproval against and or impose a fine upon the broadcaster it can also recommend to the concerned authority for suspension or revocation of the license of such broadcaster the fine imposed by the authority shall not exceed 1 lakh rupees and such fine shall be recovered from the concerned broadcaster now what complaints have been made to the NBDSA the list of complaints and the decisions taken are available on the website and not all see action taken against them for example one complaint related to an NDTV broadcaster broadcast in february was filed this year on a show that allegedly made absurd mischievous and malefied comments over a government scheme to provide free food grains 
the authority found the content of the broadcast uh, fell within the realm of editorial discretion and there was no violation of its code of ethics and broadcasting standards so the complaint was closed another complaint was over a show on Z channel where an anchor discussed the criticism against the movie the kashmir files the complainant claimed in a quote clear attempts were made in the program to unduly influence the sentiments of viewers against a specific community whom the anchor repeatedly claimed to not want the truth of the kashmiri pandits to come out unquote on viewing the footage nbdsa found no specific violation of the code of ethics and broadcasting standards or guidelines in the broadcast and so no action was called for on the complaint that's it for this podcast thank you so much for listening to join ksj in the courses and to crack the ice exam visit ksjindia.com you can also get a pdf of this podcast on ksjindia.com